Bro, this is so essential in Texas. Y'all don't even understand it, how hot it is right now. It's like in the 90s. But what's up, brodies? Welcome back to another video. And I want to give another thanks to all the people that showed love to my last video. We got that boy smashing right now. So, again, thanks to all the people. It's doing really good the video. Now, today what we're going to be talking about is a video that I thought I was not going to do. So, you guys know that my calipers are painted and that they're orange, not red. And this is when I first started painting this stuff. And shout out to my homeboy, Joe Martinez, who helped me out, you know, with painting and showing me how to do this and do that. But I was thinking the other day, I was like, you know what, man? I'm getting tired of this orange. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to match it with. I need another color. Uh, I thought I was going to go with green, but I couldn't find green caliber paint. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to just go with the color I wanted, and that was red. Now, I was so confused on how to you know do this how to prepare for this because I, I don't know how to work with paint that well I didn't even know how to take this thing off so I started doing research and I find out that through a process you can take out the caliber paint easy so let me show you so you already saw this side right now let me show you the other side and this is something I was working on yesterday and I posted on my story and I was not going to do a video because I was like you know what man there's so many videos of this like I don't think my followers want to see this, but some of you guys were DMing me talking about, hey, Danny, how did you do it? Uh, please do a video, show, show a tutorial. So you know what, guys? I'm going to do this for you. I'm going to show how, how you guys can do this. It's easy. It's safe. And you don't have to take off the caliper. And the way I do it is I mask off everything and just, you know, be safe. So uh, I'm going to show you guys how I did it and how you guys can do it at home, being safe and, you know, doing the process that I did. Now, if your calipers aren't painted this is going to be easy for y'all if your calipers are painted um it's just going to be a, a different process but hope you guys like the video uh like and subscribe and show some more love guys let's get to it all right so first things first man i do not have a low profile jack so i have to use this boo-boo jack that comes with the car they have to use this other boo-boo jack that i found at the dumpster and then jack it up this way from the pinch weld and then this jack it up from the frame rail and then finally just put a jackson on the frame rail um so let's get to that and hopefully my car will be up in about now and there we go all right guys so what i did was again i started from the pinch weld with a little baby jack and then i got under there with the big boo-boo jack and then what i like to do is i'm a guy that likes safety man i i like to make sure that you know, everything's secured. So what I did there was I put a jack stand on the frame rail and I still left the jack on the frame rail just in case, you know, I'm all about that safety guys. I'm probably still gonna put this jack under there because even though you're not gonna be under the car, you really don't want the car coming at you since this is where it doesn't have a wheel at. So now that we took out the wheel, oh, by the way, do break off your lug nuts. And again, guys, this is not me saying this is the perfect way to do this. Uh, by any means am I saying this is like the best way to do it. It's just a quick way to do it without taking this off the caliper and all that stuff the braze um this is for somebody who wants to do a small project and right now since most of you guys who are watching my videos are probably in quarantine or just at home this is a fun way to do something you know take time on your hands so all right so first things first we see that this is painted and you're thinking to yourself well how do we get this paint off or maybe if you don't have it painted it's like well, what do i do so if you guys are um you know those people that don't have paint on their calipers uh, then uh, just skip through the video, see whether, see once you know I take the paint off. But if you guys do have it painted, this is how we're gonna do it. Now, if you're if you're a caliper came painted from the dealership and it's probably powder powder coated, then I'm sorry guys, I really don't know, you know how else to tell you this, but it's probably gonna have to get sandblasted or something. I don't know if this process is gonna work for people who have calipers painted from the dealership. Now, if you painted your calipers or calipers came painted from a different person, I'm gonna, I'm gonna show you the process and all the tools that you're gonna need. So let's get to it. All right, guys, so these are the tools that y'all gonna be using. So first things first, y'all gonna need brake parts cleaner. So a brake cleaner, whatever. I got this from O'Reilly's, I can see. You gotta need some alcohol, a wire brush, a dirty rag, uh, a cardboard of any such just to have under there if the paint starts coming once the paint starts coming down it's gonna be dripping so this is like a cardboard tray from like Gatorade uh, sandpaper doesn't matter uh, this is like I believe 1500 grit and 2000 grit blue tape gloves trash bags and this right here I'm gonna use like this yoga mat that my friend gave me now you can substitute the yoga mat for trash bags around the body when you're about to paint so overspray doesn't get on it, which is a big, big problem that 
that most people have when they're painting is overspray. Now, you don't want overspray on your car. Uh, you don't want it jumping around on your wheels, anything like that, because that thing is hard to get off. Um, and it's a pain in the butt, man. I, I've gone through it. It's gone on my wheels, and it's it sucks, man, because you can't, you can't see it, but you can feel it, especially when you're washing your car. And maybe if the sun is, like, shining on your car, you can actually see the overspray on it. And lastly, but not least, man, you're going to need, and what most people have, is a mask. Now, you're going to be painting. You're going to be around this brake cleaner. You, you don't want to get high off of this stuff. So, other than that, oh, and also, you're going to need your paint. So, uh, it's a paint of your choice. Now, I got my paint from Summit Racing. Uh, luckily, over here, we have the store, and there we go. So, yeah, guys, so also, you're going to need your paint. Now, this is red paint. And look, I'm gonna show you guys how I got mistaken. Now, y'all let me know, man. Maybe I'm colorblind, but I thought this was red, right? But this is red. This looks like it's maroon. This looks like it's red. So whatever, man. I guess once the paint starts coming out, it really shows what color it is. But this right here is the red that we're gonna be using. This right here was, was on the car. You know what? Yeah, I'm, a, I'm an idiot. Whatever, but let's get to it, guys, and I'm gonna show you the process. And maybe I'll have the camera you just recording so you guys can see what I do. Or maybe I just show, you know, bits of the, of the process because it does take a long time. So if you guys do have calipers that are painted, um, hang in there. Be patient because it will take a long time. Uh, and I will show you how you need to get your caliper at. So let's get to it. All right, guys. So let's get to it. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get my water brush and I'm going to get the brake cleaner. Now... Oh, and also get that tray under there because I'm telling you this thing's gonna get messy. All right. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna directly spray it in. Don't worry, this is brake cleaner, so it ain't gonna really harm anything. Just really take off the paint, that's the point of it. So don't try to get it on here. Let's just get it on here and spray it at it. That's why I like using this little nozzle. So I spread it on there. All the paint. Don't be shy with it. Do not be shy. All right, now what we're gonna do, we're gonna let it, we're gonna let it sit there, we're gonna let it wait. It's gonna soak it up, and it's gonna become like almost like cray, like a crayon. I ever mess with like a crayon, all those like little chunks start coming off? It's so weird, bro, it's very strange. So now, let me get that wire brush, and I'm gonna go in there. Y'all see that? That's crazy, look at that, man. That, the first time I did this, bro, I cannot believe how brake cleaner just works like magic. Now, the reason why I'm not wearing a mask is because I also have the garage open, had the AC running, so it's not really in my face. And I'm not really too close in there. Now, if you're doing it in, this clo in a closed you know, environment, I really do recommend that you wear a mask, or maybe if you do have breathing problems, please do wear a mask, guys. It is not good stuff to breathe in. But look at this thing come off, man. It's like crayon, yo. Like when you're coloring too hard. Now this is what you're gonna be doing, guys. You're gonna be doing this, and keep doing this, keep spraying, and keep spraying until this thing comes off. Now try not to use all of it. Uh, you really don't have to use that much. You can even spray it on the wire brush and start, you know, going in there. But let me get back to y'all, and hopefully I get like halfway there and I'm gonna show you. All right guys, so this is about like 25 to 30 minutes in. So what I've been doing, and don't be shy to get in there, man. So what I've been doing is I've been spraying it all, just like this. I've been showing y'all. Get my wire brush and just be going ham. All right, don't be afraid to scratch it, man. This is, this is a very tough thing. This is a very tough, you know, piece of junk metal. So get in there, get in all the nooks and crannies and just start wire brushing away. And by the way, these wire brushes you can get from Amazon. They're very cheap. And um, most of the stuff that I showed you is things you can easily get from just your closest like auto parts store. So like AutoZone, O'Reilly, you can find all that stuff. So all these things are very accessible uh, other than the wire brushes. I mean, you can probably find the wire brushes at AutoZone or O'Reilly's, but I got them from Amazon for pretty cheap. So yeah, just going in guys. And again, this is like me going in for like 25 to 30 minutes, getting all the edges right here. Now you want to get all in there because when you spray your, your new paint, you want it to, you want this caliper to be clean enough so it can just stick on there and not stick onto the paint residue so it doesn't flake off later on. So again, we're gonna keep going in, keep going in guys, keep putting in that work and I'm gonna get back right to you once I put in 
you know, more work and get all the, the paint off. So let's get to it. All right, guys, so after putting in a little bit more work, about like 15 minutes now, uh, you start to see like this orange haze around the caliper, and that's when the sandpaper comes into play, all right? So now I have the grittier 1500, and I rip it into pieces, like little squares. And now I get this brake caliper, the cleaner, and I start spraying it. I said the brake, the brake part cleaner right here. I start spraying a little bit right here on the sandpaper. Okay, let it drip for a little while so it doesn't go all over your hands. I start using it on here and start applying and rubbing. Now this is what you're gonna be doing now. And you start to see, start cleaning up. Now the orange haze is still gonna be coming off. So again, so have your cardboard ready. And look, just by doing that for a little while in front of the camera. Look at that. You can totally see the difference from that, the silver and the orange haze. So now, after doing that, and after doing it for a, a long period of time, you're gonna get your dirty rag, and you're gonna get the alcohol. Now pop off this alcohol right here, take a swig, right up there, above the cardboard, and start cleaning it off. This is gonna remove a lot of dirt and haze off of there. And boom, there we go. Now it starts cleaning up. So this is what you're going to be doing for the front of the caliper, the back, and also uh, the side, and also the back of the caliper. So let's get to that, guys, and then I'm going to show you, you know, once it's completed. So let's get to it. Boom. Look at that, brody. So now we can see the silver of the caliper. It's looking really great. Now, what I was doing is what I told you. I had the 1500 grit paper right here, and I had my alcohol with uh, the rag. And all I was doing was spraying some brake, uh, some brake cleaner on here, rubbing it after that. Clean it with some alcohol so all the dust comes off and it just gives it that nice shine and it basically just takes off all that paint so the paint the new paint can stick onto this now however you do see right here it's all clean but the back it still has a lot of paint so i have to go back there this is where i'm gonna have to use my mask however because since i'm gonna be back there it's gonna be basically enclosed in there i'm gonna be sniffing all of these chemicals so we're gonna use the mask we're gonna go back there we're gonna clean it off and for my people who actually didn't have paint on their calipers and their calipers were actually gray or maybe not even painted at all, this is easy for y'all. So all you guys have to do is, again, get some sandpaper, start rubbing it off, maybe even use some brake fluid if you want. I mean, I keep calling this brake fluid, some brake cleaner if you want, and start rubbing it and use the, you know, basically the brake cleaner and the alcohol method. So basically repeat that, keep it clean, and just wait for me to paint so you guys can see what you should do and how to, you know, mask off everything. So. Let me get into the back of here. Let me clean it off and now we'll get back to you guys. So let's get to it. And by the way, guys, real quick, uh, if you guys paint it and if you guys, you know, follow my process, please send me a photo on my Instagram at Danny2V and I will shout you out in my story. But again, let me get to it and I'll be right back with y'all. All right, guys. So as you can see, we have gone very far since we began. I've taken almost all the paint off, a little bit of haze. I'm just going to clean it up. Now, another thing we're going to paint is this bracket right here of the caliper. And it's just pretty easy. All you're going to do, again, is you're going to use the brake cleaner, spray it on there, get your brush, and start, you know, going ham at it. Now, I do want to say be careful with the brackets right here that point out right at the end of the calipers and the rubber, um, and the rubber bushings right here, right behind this bracket. You're going to want to be careful. You don't want to rip them. Uh, just go at it right here and, you know, watch out. Be careful and just have it to where it's like dull looking and it's metal so a test that i like doing is cleaning my hands and to where you know my you know my fingertips are back to its you know original skin tone so let's see let me get my let me get my rag with alcohol just clean them off right here all right all right so what i like doing is getting my bare hand start touching around all around the caliper you know, going back there, touching around. And if my fingertips are dirty, which they are, we're gonna go back, get some alcohol with the rag, and probably gonna use a different rag. Get some alcohol with the rag and start wiping it down and keep doing it. And I'm gonna keep doing it until my fingertips are clean and basically look like I didn't even touch it at all. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. And again, guys, if you're the people who had their calipers painted or the people who didn't have it painted, just at this, at this point, you guys are at the same process. Just doing this, making sure it's clean and making sure it's prepared for you to paint on it. So 
I'm gonna get to that. And please, you know, pause the video, go with the process. If you have any questions or maybe I left something out, please DM me or comment down below. So let's get to it. All right guys, so after doing the process, we are ready to paint. So I put my hand all over, doesn't come back dirty, it's clean, it's ready for paint. Now, for the people that don't know how to paint good or this is your first time actually painting something on your car, uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna shake that bottle for like a minute and I'm gonna show you that. And we're gonna get that Gatorade box cardboard that I had down here. We're gonna use it in the backyard and we're gonna start practicing on it. Once we get that flow ready, we're gonna come back here, we're gonna get to painting. Now, I'm also gonna show you how to cover this up or how I do it. And if you have the, you know, the same things like, for example, that mat, or if you just have trash bags, we, we can also use that, but I'm gonna use the mat. So let's go to the backyard and let me show you how I get ready. For a minute, right, we're gonna take off the top and you wanna be about eight to 10 inches away. And we're gonna start from top to bottom. We're gonna do the swaying motion. Now we're gonna spray a little bit. All right, we good? Yeah. Cool, all right, so we got it down. So there you go guys, that's the way I just sway back and forth. So let's get back in the garage and let's get ready to paint that caliper. All right guys, so now that we have our swaying motion ready, we're gonna get our blue tape. We're gonna get our blue tape. I'm gonna rip pieces off. Now, you can get skinnier tape. Now I have the stick tape just because, well it's the only one I have right now. And we're gonna tape around, we're gonna tape uh, let's start from right here. Yeah, let's tape right there, starting off right there. And we're gonna we're gonna tape all around until basically you don't see the edges of the disc. I mean the rotor and the brake pads. So here we go. Give me another tape right here, bro. I hate when tape you don't even know what side it's on. And excuse the birds, man. I. God, man, they're so annoying. I don't know what it is, but it's bird season out here. All right, get another one. Cool, now, we're gonna get right here, right under the brace, the brace right there. All right, so, see right here? What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the tape down, right? And the tape is stuck on the wall of the caliper in here. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get my nail on my finger and I'm gonna push it down. Push it down all the way to where the wall is visible so paint can get on there. And that's just all I do right there. See? Let me take y'all out so I can see. So I just push it with my nail so it can just lay down there. So paint, so paint can just attach right there. And I'm gonna do it for the other side. I'm gonna do it right here, all around. So I'll get back to y'all when I'm done. All right guys, so as you can see, we have it all taped up, covering up the brake pads, covering up the rotors. Now the reason I didn't cover the whole rotors is because obviously we're gonna be using the trash bag. Now, how are we gonna utilize this? We're gonna open it up, and get to the corners right here, and we're gonna rip it. Rip it just like that, and I'll see the other corner. All right. And so you just create this disassembled bag. Now, in the middle of the bag, poke a little hole in it. All right, like right here, right there, just, just a little hole. Now, the reason I say little is because you don't know how big your caliper is and how it's gonna wrap around it. So, let's see here. Let me get you guys right about there. There we go, okay, cool. All right, so we got this hole. And let's start from right here. All right. Let me get back there, back there. This always started like a little hole. And it's be tight enough so paint doesn't go all over. And there we go, check that out. Now, once you have that ready, we're gonna cover everything else with the trash bag. Maybe use some blue tape. I like to poke a little hole right here with the lug, with the lug screws. And maybe even use one just above here, which I'm actually gonna do. So let me get another one here.
Again, guys, there's no perfect way of me doing it. It is just an easy process. Without having to take it to nobody. And you know, you yourself are the perfect person to do this type of job because you know how good you want it. You know where to want where you want to paint it. Let me see back here. See everything's all everything's all good. Make sure. All right, cool. So there we go, guys. So we have that ready for paint. Let me just come on. Now, real quick. Now, you guys obviously don't. Well, most of you guys probably don't have the yoga mat like I do. And this is how I'm gonna do with the yoga mat. So with the yoga mat, this protects me from overspray. Now, since you guys already saw that I already painted my other caliper, you're gonna see the blood stains that came with the yoga mat when I was painting. So what I did was I made this cone shape, placed it like this, and started painting. So I did it just with one hand and started spraying. Or you could do another safe method and probably safer, but however it's not the best thing to do because you're gonna be wasting a lot of trash bags is doing what I just did, ripping them up and having them boom all over the car. Obviously once you open it up, it's gonna be bigger and you'll use blue tape. Now if you're gonna do that guys, be careful with the blue tape. Now I know a lot of you guys, when y'all travel, y'all like putting blue tape on your bumpers and having, you know, protect you from bug splatter. Well, if anything guys, this is probably doing more damage to the paint than that bug splatter. Why? Well, though you may not think that this tape is sticky enough, it really is, and especially on this type of paint, any car paint. So if you put it on there for long periods of time, then you rip it off, it's gonna take some paint, my dude. So this is what I like doing. This is, this is, this is a trick that I learned from my friend. You get the tape, put it on any type of clothing, rip it off again clothing rip it off now it's getting less sticky and you don't need to be that sticky guys just and then try to avoid actually putting it on the paint maybe put it right here on the window maybe uh you know just areas where the paint's not that visible so again put it on a piece of clothing so that blue tape once you put on that piece of clothing it's not that sticky and you can use it so that's a, that's a good tip to use instead of just ripping off the tape and putting it right on your car so, whew, my boys, I am not lying to you. It is hotter than, uh, I can't even speak, man. It's hotter than the camel's toenails out here. So let me just paint, God, I can't even speak. Let me just tape up the, the trash bag right here in the back. And I'm not gonna obviously do this because I mean like a, you know. Okay. It's like, all in, it's like you in there. And we are ready to paint. So I'm gonna show you how I do the first coat. So you can see my trial and error. And if I do horrible, I'll cut. And you guys will never know. Let me get a better view. Well, I want you guys to see how I'm gonna paint it. I'm probably gonna be on that side, so. Let's see. I got my yoga mat ready. Okay, okay, so. As you can see, we have it ready. I'm gonna get my paint can. And if you're in a closed environment, please wear a mask. So let's see, we're gonna start up and down motion. So we're gonna start, you can maybe even hit the mask. Okay. And that's it, that's first coat. Don't even play with it after that. Just leave it alone and be careful not to touch the caliper once it's done painting. So that's first coat. And we're gonna leave it like that. We're gonna wait for about, let's say, two to five minutes and then come back and do another coat and we're probably gonna do even like six coats my guy because we want this thing to you know stick on good we don't want it to be boo-boo and I mean it's it's always in a lot of heat so we obviously you gotta have that you gotta have that color you want to so you gotta have those coats so I'm gonna get back to y'all once I do more coats so I'll be right back guys all right buddy so we are done painting we've done I think six seven coats I don't even know bro right now uh, I need to catch my breath because I should have been wearing the mask, bro. I swear I've been uh, I've been seeing SpongeBob do the moonwalk or something, man. This paint is getting to my head or something. But right now I did six, seven coats. Uh, it looks pretty red right now. It looks like I've murdered 
like a goat under there. So we got that ready. We're gonna let it dry. I give it maybe an hour plus. So do something, bro. Go inside, get on your phone, like my pics at where else? Danny the Tuvi. And uh, yeah, for sure, just wait for a little while, guys. Let it get, you know, that red stick on there. And once we're done, I will come back. I'm gonna show you, you know, me taking it off and me putting the wheel back on. So you guys can see how big it pops. It's just an amazing, beautiful color. I love the color red, but I also love the color black, man. So let's get right back to ya. All right, guys, so it's been a while now. I think it's been like an hour and 20 plus minutes and it's dry enough. There's just a little bit of wet spots here in the corners and stuff like that, but it's okay. It's not nothing too serious. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm, I'm actually gonna jack up the car uh, a little bit more just to put the wheel on, take this off and then drop it and see how it looks. But you know what? I'm gonna show you guys how it looks once I remove all this right here. Here we go, let's get it. All right, I wanna be careful. You wanna pull away from all this stuff. Matter of fact, let me get a get some scissors okay that's here all right never mind okay okay how we look all right move all this right here my favorite part is taking off the tape man you want to be careful, you want to pull away from the paint. Okay. All right. Hopefully it's dried enough. I'm, I'm low-key in a hurry because I do want to see how it looks like. A little bit got on the brake pad, but ain't nothing some brake cleaner can't take off. And look at that, my boys. Oh, sorry, I forgot this part in here. Off. there we go look at that now other than the the little screws being a little bit paid ain't nothing too much we can just take it off right now but other than that man we did a uh, us we did a great job because i know you guys are doing this right now the ones who are doing it you did a great job i can tell if you did my process it should end up just like this and so all it is now is just put it on the wheel and yeah all right guys so let me give it to that and i'll show you once i get back and there we go guys the wheel is back on and be sure to tighten your lug nuts as soon as you put it down i still haven't done that yet but i'm about to do it and look how we ended up doing it my dudes golly came out really nice by the way guys if you did the same process as i did please send me a video please send me a photo and i'll shout you out on my story I really do appreciate you guys and thanks for showing all the love, likes, and subscriptions on my last videos. Uh, I can see that through, you know, the analytics and stuff like that, so I really do appreciate it. Real quick, guys, so you see all this right here? When you back out your car, be sure to wipe it off your wheels. Be sure to, you know, get like um, a broom and dust it all off because that right there could have been overspray on your car, but instead it's on, you know, the garage floor, which is way better than it being on your car. But once it's done painting guys, do not wash your car right after or a day after. Wait a couple of days, wait for that heat to soak it up. So if, if I you know if I were you, I would have parked it outside, let you know the heat touch the calipers and stuff like that. So it can really stay on there. Now I've done the fronts and I still need to do the rears. But once you have the front done, guys, you already know what to do, you already know the process. So again, guys, thank you so much. There will be many more videos to come. Thank you for all the subscription. We actually hit 400 subscribers, man. That is crazy. Like this thing has been like a dream so far because people have been telling me my dms hey do videos do this show me how to do this and you know i was like you know i'll do it whatever and i didn't know i was going to get this many views this many subscriptions and i really do appreciate it it's awesome i, I want to do more videos for you guys but you know i can't do them if you guys don't show the love if you guys don't like if you guys don't subscribe so again keep subscribing keep loving keep commenting i love talking to all you guys so again guys catch us to the next time and i'll see y'all then